And then there's this whole other thing. Ken and I have this conversation a lot. <laughs> he calls it trusted advisor partners, TAPs. Okay, these are your networks. Okay, this is you in the middle. Okay, this is your expert at mowing lawns. This is your CPA. This is your financial advisor. This is your whoever, your attorney. It doesn't matter. Okay, hi, how are you? Thanks for coming. So you have these networks of people that you've got to go seek and find. Now we can posture in ways that we act like we don't need help. Here again, this is that BS story that we tell ourselves. I don't need help. I got it figured out. I'm a three at that, and if I study real hard, I could be a five at it, and I could be average. Huh. Or I could take something that I'm a six or seven at and become a nine at, and I could go hire that help and find that person. Oh, you know what? I'd have to actually pay for that. <sighs> what a bother to my cost. I've got to go absorb cost. Oh, I've got to learn. Wow. Like it's my obligation in this society right now to learn. I got to learn. Damn it. I just want to like the matrix plug me in, you know, teach me how to do Kung Fu, you know, like I don't want to have to do all that crap. I don't want all that cost. I just want to know the program, but we're not programs. We're human beings. So what we have to do is we have to actually absorb the cost to learn. Now, when I say that, we're talking about daily disciplines. Okay. There's a couple of different things. One is first thing in the morning, wake up a little early or whatever your timeline is, take some time to reflect on what did I just dream? That was pretty wild. Anybody seen the movie Inception? Anybody see this? That's a bizarre film. <clears throat> I got to watch it again because I, I like totally lost the first 20 minutes, but it's about the dream within a dream. But I've been thinking a lot about like, what are the dreams that you have? <clears throat> and like, we're like, what does that mean? Does that mean anything? Is it just random thoughts? I don't know. But like to take the time to reflect on that. And then as you know, whether you believe in God or whatever you do, I believe in God. So for me, it's prayer, meditation, any way you want to call it that. <clears throat> but where I would look at is like, what am I most grateful for in this world? What relationships am I most grateful for in this world? To think about those things and take a moment to reflect. Journal, <clears throat> okay. I see you guys got something you're writing in, okay. Like this is important when I have something like if I'm sitting here and I learn something new, Ken goes, hey, here's an interpretation. I go, oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I got something I can work on. I could write that down. Or this could be something where I actually write stuff to myself that I don't really share with other people in the world, okay. Like how much time do we take in the act of reflection? And I think a lot of us don't because we're so darn busy in our lives and we're not getting off the merry-go-round and taking the time for ourselves. What I, what I noticed about that is that we don't have as much fun in our lives because we're so busy doing all this crap that we're not really like being in the moment and enjoying the fun. <clears throat> 